today's video, we're going to look at ideal industries inshore connector range and the inshore connector box. And we're going to look at it for its application in lighting circuits. So let's start with the lever variety of the inshore connectors. We've got a two conductor connector, a three conductor connector and a five conductor connector here. They go from 0.2 millimeter squared up to 2.5 millimeter squared cables and cover fine stranded, stranded and solid copper. And they're rated at 24 amps each. What I also like about them is there's a little groove in the top that gives you the allowance for the amount of insulation to remove off the conductor. It's between nine and 10 mil. So if you see that, I'll just drop that into there. That shows you've got exactly the right amount of insulation removed. Lift up my levers like so, insert my conductor and close it down. And therefore I've joined two conductors together. There's also a test port on here as well that you can just get into here in order if you needed to test at that position as well. So now we're onto our push fit connectors. We have two, three, four, five, six, and eight conductor connectors with the first ones. So this one here, the two, the three, and the four having a current rating of 32 amps and the five, six, and eight having a current rating of 24 amps. They take solid conductors from 0.75 up to four mil. But when we're looking at the stranded variety, they take the one five and two five conductors. So just to show you that, so if I push one into here, just push it home. What I like about it is obviously this clear section here allows you to see that the conductor is actually in and connected to the actual copper itself. And we've also got a test point on them just here. So you can probe in to test um, at this position as well. They're on the same on all of them. Now we have the splice connector. This will do 0.5 millimeter squared to four millimeter squared in solid copper and in solid stranded copper from one millimeter squared to 2.5 millimeter squared. It's also rated at 32 amps. So if we just show it in use, exactly the same as before, 13 mil of insulation removed, exactly the same as what we would have to remove on this style of connector. And then we just push it simply into the actual splice itself. And again, you can see that it's gone through there through the clear body, you can see the copper. And we've also, which I really like, he's got a test point at this end. And you've also got a test point at this end. We've just seen a wide range of ideal industries inshore connectors. We're now going to look at the inshore box. This box is for lighting circuits. It's designed to go through a 50 mil hole. And on the back, it's rated at 16 amps. That's really important. It means whichever of the connectors we've just discussed, we insert within this box, they are only rated at 16 amps. We saw the connectors in here were rated between 24 and 32 amps. However, as soon as we insert them into this lighting joint box, they become rated only at 16 amps. So we couldn't use this box, for instance, to extend a ring final circuit or a cooker circuit. We'll look next at how we're gonna make some of the connections within this box. So I've screwed down two inshore boxes and I've used the outside fixings on this one and the internal fixings on this one. We've got four positions of which we can bring cables in on. And what we're gonna do in the first instance is join a one millimeter squared cable as if you're extending a lighting circuit. And then we'll make one off as if you've gone uh, in and out and then down to a down light. So we'll start with this one here. I'm gonna use the splices for this connection. As always, you need to make off your cables before putting them into the cord grip. So we're gonna make all our connections off external to the box and then push them into the box and close it up. So if I strip off my cables, like so, we can look at making our connections. Okay, so, so imagine we've got one coming and one going out. So we're gonna to have to work out our length. My splicing like so and you can already see now how we're looking to to lay that out and dress it within the actual box itself so line conductor with the splice the neutral with the splice i'll just do the cpc and then we'll look at putting it in so all three conductors are now connected through a splice and now we're ready just to put the actual cables within the grips and then we can close the lid off itself so if i just push that into position like so and that one like so just there just position my conductors as you would like and then just simply close the box down And we've got a choice now if we want to put a cable tie through here in order to make sure that we can call it a maintenance free connector so we can put a cable tie through there. Let's just put that cable tie in as discussed. Pop that through there. Trim that one back off. So you can't pull those cables out. 
Okay, they're securely fastened between those grips and our splice connections are in there and now we have to get a tool in order to break that in order to get into the electrical enclosure itself. We'll go on and we'll simulate for this one uh, cable coming in, cable going out and one down to a down light which is very common. So with this one here we're going to simulate it for a down light so a switching line of neutral coming in and a switching line of neutral going out to the next one two CPCs and then we'll simulate this flexible cable here going as if it's going to an LED down light. Because we're going to be using uh, fine stranded conductors I've decided to go with the lever connectors so I've got th uh, three conductor connectors and the two conductor connectors in order that I can make my connections in here and as again I'm going to need to make off my connections before inserting them into the box and if I want to go for the maintenance free which the symbol here is on the inside again I'm going to need to use that cable tie at the end so let's strip these back in order that we can make the connections to go in this one so we're going to need the three connections for this one so neutral goes in like so just make sure we get the required length again a little bit too long start looking at a layout now pop that one in like so and then we can start looking at dressing it into the actual box itself so moving them to suit like that push that one into position and we've got the ability now just to shut that box off just make sure they're fully inserted down and then just give the box a little squeeze as you just close it up so we just squeeze that box and then we can just push it down like so and then we take a cable tie if we want to make it maintenance free remember you're going to need to do your maybe your testing procedure first before you obviously insert the tie but if you're happy at this stage you would have it finished you would snip off your tie this would be going down to your your down light and you've got your incoming and outgoing supply to the actual box itself i think that was really easy nice and neat we managed to use both tiles of connector so we use the lever and in this case we use the splice really good so we've used the lever we've used the splice so let's use the two conductor connector here so simulating as if we brought the feed into a switch permanent line and neutral and then we've gone out with a neutral and a switching line leaving us conductors connect together so we've got the CPCs in this case there's no earth terminal in the back of this box so we've got the CPCs to connect together so we take our two conductor connector and we're just going to push those into position like so you can nicely see it there in the window connect the other one was worth really gripping on to the actual conductor itself not just the sleeving because obviously it can feel as if it's moving so they're in nice and secure just got to do the same now for the neutrals remove the required amount of insulation and then just simply again just push them into there like so and then we do this one just like so and we can clearly see again our conductors are connected into the actual um, enclosure itself so we can leave those in there and then obviously we can put our light switch cover back on. So we've seen in this video presentation now Ideal Industries Inshore Connector has a wide range of applications in the electrical industry. We've seen it in conjunction with the Inshore Box in order to make connections for lighting circuits. You will have seen in the video me using this stripping tool and I absolutely love this, watch this effortless in order to strip twin and earth cables and you'll probably see more of this on the channel in the future as always eFix and ideal industries are interested in your comments and your experiences using these products so please make sure you comment below